I might have to throw this one on. It is definitely a chilly one. fish? Yeah. I didn't believe you if I'm being honest. I'm sorry. Wait, is it back? Let me get it. No way. Alright, move the rods first. So you just keep the line tight no matter what. Just keep the line tight no matter what. Like so. Come here, bud. We're, uh, we're officially hooked up. We've probably only been trolling for like 20 minutes. We lost one and it was a break off, but we got one. We're hooked up. Do you think it's a big one? And then uh, if it tries to pull down, I'll just hang on the tool. Like, like, I mean, he doesn't feel bad, dude. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm so tired right now. This is exhausting. Holy crap. Uh, I think we need to add that bleeder. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get in here. Get in here. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. So they don't mind. This is my first ever open water lake trout because I've only caught these guys ice fishing. So, heck yeah, dude. Got a lake trout, we're gonna cook them up. Maybe we'll uh, catch another one. Ah, that was a good catch. <laughs> that was a good catch. We're gonna bonk them on the head because that's the respectful thing to do. And um, and then we're gonna cook them. Do we have another one? Yeah, you want No, you got them, you got them. It feels kind of big, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. There's a line going like full of harder than the average fish on that rod. Not feeling any head shapes, but. Look at the orange. Yeah. I have no idea. It looks red, not orange. It is an orange gun. Alright, alright. God, wow, this is more of a workout than I could have ever imagined. You know, that literally works. This is what happens when it gets tiring. I have no idea if there's a fish on here. Oh, there's a big fish down there. Get him, get him. There is a fish. How did he not come off? How did he not come off during the whole chaos? Another cookie cutter, smaller lake trout, maybe 17 inches on the uh, Moose of Water. Heck yeah. Woo. Well, Smalls. that's fun. We got two, which is sick. Now we got our food. Now we got food, so we're not going to starve, and Riley doesn't have to open up another can of ramen. So <laughs> yeah, right. that's that's good news. We're eating good now. It felt heavy, like pretty heavy the entire time, but uh, I don't know. Nailed it. I also, I just looked up if we could throw the banana peel in the lake because you know how like they're biodegradable and when I you're mean, driving, people throw them out. I, I, supposed to or not, I, do. I just Googled it and it's illegal. And I was thinking about it. I was like, that'd be funny if like I could just throw this in the water and then, oh, was not I don't know, something just randomly Googled. I probably wouldn't have done it anyways if it did say it was legal, but I just, I thought it would have been a funny concept, but no, not funny. It's not legal anywhere, so not you can't even throw a sandwich overboard. 
So I guess technically when you're feeding ducks bread, it's illegal. Cause you're, oh yeah. <laughs> even though you're not, period, not supposed to feed them bread. Anyways, we're headed back in. Time to go fillet these suckers up and um, yeah, go from there. Not really sure of the game plan right now, but we'll figure it out. And I do have a recipe in mind. It just requires definitely going to the grocery store. So we'll figure that out. <laughs> That's so wrong. My home on wheels, long time no see. Whoa. Ta-da! They're pretty much the same size. That's crazy. Pretty cookie cutter. Riley's the filet master. Oh yeah. Definitely done this a few times before. <laughs> oh, he's talking to me. Wonder what he said. Oh wait, is a lake trout not a white meat? No, it's red-ish. Not red, but kind of pinkish orange or gray, depending on the lake. Normally, it's kind of this orange color if there's alewives in the lake, though. That's I mean, not lake, I mean smelt. That's it's more beautiful. gray if they feed on alewives from what I've seen. Nice, okay. Actually, no, that actually or adds an orange pigment to it, I think. I don't know. I only fish in lakes that smelt. I was trying to remember what I learned at the Great Lakes. Oh! <laughs> you know, could be worse, honestly. Not bad. Just trying to show you guys his flying skills, but they're making some weird noises. So we're just gonna show you the aftermath because they're just, yeah, they're talking a little, little weird. My wild lake trout. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the adventure starts here. We're going south about a couple of hours and then tomorrow back up north, but we're gonna go south a little bit. Riley just left. Massive shout out to him for helping me make today happen and teaching me a lot about lake trout. So this should be fun. But I have a really cool recipe I wanna try out with this lake trout. So it's my first like wild lake trout, whatever. So I'm pretty excited. And I wanna, I wanna do this recipe justice. We'll see. Goodness. Hi, that is so cool. She loves to have her head out the window. I got I can and, see. And, and I don't want her getting a bee or a bug or a stone or something in her eye. <laughs> we had a friend who worked at a vet who said they had people come in and sometimes the dogs actually lost an eyeball. Really? From from getting hit with something flying through the air. So. Wow. That was the coolest dog I've I've seen. You see those on motorcycles the most.
I just need to find somewhere to actually cook. Ugh. Oh, that feels nice. Oh. Yeah, this is a lot better. We're pretty far from the highway now, so I'm pretty satisfied with this cooking spot. But we need to get going because I am starving. So let me start off by saying it's breakfast time. Okay, it's breakfast time. So I want to cook a breakfast meal. But have you ever seen like fish for breakfast? Not really. Because at least I haven't. I, I, I have not personally. Um, so <laughs> I don't know if it's a thing. It, I don't know if there is a recipe for fish for breakfast let me know but if if not i'm about to create one so let's make it happen let's start crack -a and cooking looking Just a random stick out of the woods behind me because I forgot to buy toothpicks. Bacon wrapped lake trout. I have no idea what gave me the idea to do this, but I really think bacon wrapped fish is like, it just sounds like it's gonna be really good and it could be a hack, you know? A breakfast hack to eat fish. I don't know, I don't know. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> I don't know how many of these I should make, but... Ugh, what if it tastes bad? We'll have to cook the fish just by itself if it tastes bad, but... I mean, it's bacon and fresh-caught lake trout for breakfast. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna start cooking some of these just to see if I'm wasting my time and if it's good or gonna work out as I'm thinking. as we said at the end of my tailgate. Let's do it. Bacon wrapped wild lake trout with maple sriracha. Maple sriracha. My fear? Ah, that's hot. I currently don't have a fork, so ignore my spoon. Okay. My fear was that the fish wouldn't cook all the way through, and it, trust me, it did. Maple sriracha. Okay. What? What? I just had to move spots and take a breath. Are we kidding? Well, it's a little hot. Take out the 
the piece of wood. I recommend doing toothpicks. Maple bacon, the fish is cooked perfectly. Flaky, flaky as all heck. Maple sriracha. Okay, yep. Cheers. What? Are we kidding? No, no, no. My life is complete. The dipping sauce, the maple sriracha, ridiculous, ridiculous. The maple bacon, ridiculous. The lake trout, you guessed it, ridiculous. I'm gonna try one without the, the dipping sauce that we made. Oh, it dripped all over me. This is not a joke. This is the ultimate recipe. I've never seen anyone do this before. I just thought of it. Like, pig wrapped in a blanket, whatever they're called. I was just thinking of that. And I was like, oh, why don't we just do that with the lake drought? And it's breakfast time. And, and this is breakfast food. Bro. Ah! Oh, wow. Oh, oh here's, here's, here's an issue. Here's an issue. I'm pretty sure this fish on this one's not fully cooked. Oh, it's fully cooked. That's just the fat of the bacon. <laughs> like, the fish fully cooked. Yep. You can honestly just... Ah, this is my last one. I made another batch. I made a whole another batch. This time I didn't even use a stick for a, a toothpick. They held together fine. I'm just waiting for it to cool down. I ain't got all day though. <laughs> oh darn. I have about three and a half, four or more hours left of the drive and I need a nap. Food coma is what I like to call it. And there's a fly in here. Good night. <laughs> Absolutely anything right now to just teleport. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know it's a shorter video, but I have a lot, and I mean a lot of driving to do right now. So I will catch you beautiful people on the next episode doing some more cool traveling things <laughs> hopefully a little bit just a little bit more rested so i will see you guys there <laughs>